It's on two. Mr. Buffett, Mr. Uh, Munger, uh, my name is Dave Lankus. I'm a senior editor at uh, Business Insurance Magazine. A uh, two-part question for you. Can you uh, explain a little bit uh, regarding your primary insurance operations? Uh, what drove up written premiums by more than 50% last year, and if you expect that to uh, continue this year? And then regarding your earlier comments on the um, uh, stupid things uh, reinsurers can do in mass, um, can you explain uh, what potential pitfalls that the uh, new CAT facilities in Bermuda will have to avoid that uh, you feel Berkshire Hathaway won't fall into? Well, the f first question about our primary insurance, uh, the, the figures, I, you, you'll find it way in the back someplace, but it, it, they're, they're a little distorted because we bought central states indemnity uh, uh, late in the year 92, so that they, there, there's a lot more premium volume in there for central states in 93 than there was in 92. Our basic national indemnity's basic insurance, which is auto and or commercial auto and general liability, premium volume was very, fairly flat. The home state operation fairly flat. Cyprus up somewhat. Uh, but those numbers were not anything like the changes. So our business last year pro forma for including central states indemnity for all of 92 would not have shown a dramatic change. There really hasn't been much happen in our primary business, except that it's been run, it's, it's done very well, but it is, it is not growing or exploding, and that's true this year as well as last year. It's a good business, uh, and it could grow in certain kinds of markets very substantially, but it is not growing in this market, and it, it did not grow last year, although its underwriting was very good. Uh, in the reinsurance business, I think essentially the difference in, in our reinsurance business from many others, I, uh, you know, doesn't include them all in a place like Bermuda, is, that, is, is the, essentially the difference that may exist in, in, in our operations and securities versus other people. We will we will offer reinsurance at any time uh, in very large quantities uh, at prices we think make sense. But we won't do business if, if, if we don't think it makes sense, just like we will buy securities to the extent of the cash we have available if, if, if they make sense. But we have no interest in being in the stock market per se just to be in it. We want to, we want to own securities that make sense to us. I think for most managements, if the only thing they're in is the reinsurance business, they may like it better when, the, when, when prices make sense, but they will, I think they will be prone to do quite a bit of business when prices don't make sense as well because there's no alternative except to give the money back to the owners, and that is not something that most managements you know, do somersaults over. So I think, I think we are in a favored position, essentially, being having the flexibility of, 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 of capital allocation that lets us uh, take the lack of business with a certain equanimity that, that, that most managements um, probably can't because of their, their sole focus uh, on the business. Uh, rates will get silly in all, in all likelihood after a period when nothing much happens, when you've had a couple of years of good experience. We price to what we think is exposure, we don't price to experience. I mean, the fact that there was no big hurricane last year. I forget the name of the one that was coming in at North Carolina and then it veered out essentially. But to us, it has nothing to do with the rates next year, whether that hurricane actually came in in a big way or veered out into the Atlantic again. I mean, we, we are pricing to exposure. And everyone says that, but the market tends to price and respond to experience and generally to recent experience. That's why all the, all the uh, the retrocessional operations in London, you know, the, and the spiral went busted because they they priced, in, in our view, they priced to experience rather than to exposure. It's very hard not to do that, to be there year after year with, with, with business coming by and investors expecting things of you and not do that. But we will never knowingly do that. We may get influenced subconsciously in some way to do that, but we will not do that any more than we will accept stock market norms as being the proper way for us to invest money in equities. But, uh, basically, in, when you lay out money or accept insurance risks, 
you really have to think for yourself. No, you, you cannot let the market uh, think for you. Charlie? Yeah, I, I think Berkshire is, is basically a very old-fashioned kind of a place, and it tries to exert discipline to stay old-fashioned. And I don't mean old-fashioned stupid, I mean, you know, the eternal verity, so to speak. Uh, basic mathematics, you know, basic horse sense, uh, uh, basic fear, uh, basic discriminations regarding human nature, all very old-fashioned. And uh, if you just do that with a certain amount of discipline, I think it's likely to work out quite well.